I'm going to go here and do a couple of four on my book uh, on my own basic payments. Let's go here. Send the fire. Pick them. Use the first piece of World War II dispatch for James Bond Knight. Oh, I'm counting. Maybe the top ten of the day has not been brought to the air. What is going to us? Have we you on the main ascending fire? Right after the shot down, life has been changed in less than five minutes. September 29th, 1942. Tell me, maybe it's first. That it is a world war two. <coughs> Tell me in two. Oh, we're in the aircraft for the other campaign. Pleasure, young. You're on the ship uh, about 21 months later, buddy. Tier 1 campaign in the Central Pacific. He's disappeared without a trace beyond a sample night fire operation on November 27, 1943. Research in the United States. Many naval employees came out of the largest class. Carriers and other key staff were over with a big E leave and was the victim of friendly fire from another Navy aircraft. The story of a hair's death is similar in many ways to that surrounding the murder of his father in 1939. Well, Sing the Sing of died in a hail of gunfire on before on Chicago Street. Some believe his death was handled for information on Al Capone and helped the federal government settle his depression for tax fraud. Helping the federal government with that fraud, but the case was never solved, nor were the killers ever identified. Navy's official announcement of a hair of October 29th, 1942. Trump over the five bombers was made on March 3rd and was heroically credited with six victories. Members aside, it was just about the best war news that the American public had heard since the disaster of Pearl Harbor two months earlier in a within five minutes of action. The St. Louis NATO and destroyed the Following with a Japanese eventuality and restored the nation's confidence in its fighting men. Bill Slash was the public and slash public president Franklin D. Roosevelt made the first of his opposition to boost morale. When Lexington returned to Hawaii, he had the nation's newest hero, Herman Washington, for the personal graduate him with the Medal of Honor at White House President Bush, seeing the famous FDR grin. The Commander-in-Chief also informed of the attack. He had been jumped into ranks to Lieutenant Commander. The certain for many of the with serving Washington from serious damages by single-handedly Taking on nine twin engine Japanese bombers, sitting down five of them, and so the Japanese six were six through with ten careful marks in the ship. Firing no squad rock, it's called the aerial battle, one of the most. Daring, if not the most tragic action in his story of combat aviation. The hair own discussion of the battle was somewhat more problematic. He was, but we had ten planes in the air. The most crowded of our fellow was looking the first bunch of Japanese to come over, and we had the second bunch. All to ourselves. 
panels, made a second of two planes, and planning men had a gun trouble for five minutes, and the time got gun sticks out over the Washington ceremony, O'Hare made a series of public appreciations around the country to boost home awards and inspire war plant workers to even greater efforts. He had stopped at the German plant in West Hedge, New York, which made the F or F thirty Wildcat. He used to score his five victories. Then he was to St. Louis where he was given a turn parade by the center of the city and held by the mayor as Eddie O'Hare, the St. Louis boy who had come home to the Royal Thunder of Hearts. A handsome 28-year-old Naval County graduate, Waldo Victor Lewis, we a son of a ball hooker, O'Hare, who was the Olympic O'Hare family who had been the president of Chicago Sportsman Park Project and a cult assert of Al Capone. The elder or hair, except well, the handful there who inflicted him as a reaction. Much book of hair knew his father family was concerned. Probably it was not a great deal since his parents had separated when he was still a boy. And later divorced. Norrell was the father, moved to Chicago. The young O'Hare married with his mother and two sisters in St. Louis until he left home to attend military prep school in Elton, Illinois. But he returned the apple of the father's eye. And two were extremely close. In fact, young Eddie may have been. The reason the senior O'Hare decided to turn on Al Capone and help the government build its case against Chicago crime seizure. According to one popular version of the classic post, O'Hare wanted to turn himself with the government in order to improve his son's chances of acceptance in the legal family. It was a nice story and if true, it means that the guru of that ever got Capone, which the Navy got Butch O'Hare, as part of a package deal. Further on, the father was rubbed on his son, Yadi O'Hare, get her up as a powerful fun heir of the guard of the football team and was captain of the Rifle team. One of O'Hare's friends was another young man who was also would make a name for himself. It World War II, Pearl Chavez, who proud and another gay that fought Boeing B and Super Fortress that dropped the atomic bomb on Japan. In 1933, O'Hare realized a long structural dream by winning an appointment to the U.S. Naval County in Annapolis, mid some writers have suggested that Frank Wilson, who drafted the federal proposition of Capone, pulled the strings to have him accepted, but Wilson, who was chief of a secret service in 1936, never made any such claim in his writings. As it O'Hare failed on his first try for the county and to return to school in St. Louis in order to improve his math skills. He graduated from the county of the class in 1937 after a more or less routine for four years during which he packed up nicknames Butch which took and Nero, which did not have a hair, such as a USS New Mexico, which it returned 
with the other girl because of the water to wave. This allowed the slow, sturdy F4F Wildcats to hold their own against the nimble Mitsubishi A6M Zeros. Aftermath, the lower called an interview that O'Hare had all the attachments of a true pilot. In addition to being a folk and flying athlete, he had a sense of timing and relative motion that he may have been born with. Even if the impression has, he had to push that the threat was spared from running bruises in the air. For him, flew like a veteran right from the start. He just picked up much faster than anyone else ever seen, but that said, he got the most out of his airplane. He didn't try to reverse it around. He did practically well in practice dogfights with the Skyder Aero Team. This was designed to deflate Eagles, a newly arrived pilot, but that's what it was. The squadron in his fact, on February 1942, claimed carrier strikes against the Japanese held port of Verbal on the South Pacific island of New Britain. It appears that the surprise attack that carrier task force was sighted by Japanese patrol planes before reaching the launch point. The team became the latest part of British bombers. The first were twin engine Mitsubishi G4M1 Betty bombers, which parked by oxygen radar and red frame. On February 20th, the six wildcats of VF3 flying combat air patrol then the drone down three Japanese planes on the first class over. BF3 Wildcats joined the ferry and the Japanese ended up losing eight of their nine aircraft with scouting a single daughter. Meanwhile, a very frustrated Butch O'Hare was flying cover over with his men. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Marvel D. from Lexington later picked up a second group of patties flying a large V formation. Some of these pulsing attacks east with the other Wildcat pilots still pushing the remains of the Japanese first wave of hero and death girl were all that stood between the incoming bombers and the American carrier. O'Hare, death girl, and the enemy formation some 12 or 15 miles out, task force measurement up to 1,000 feet. Okay. Flew straight at the section climbing above the formation and the rolling wildcats for radar check. Aircraft as a fly as a V. Lowering for from, from morale buddies. O'Hare close to 100 yards and guns on the Separate engines of the last aircraft. Two first O'Hare pulled the breeze from the stricken aircraft and crossed to the other side of the formation. He realized for the first time that his wingman was not with him. Duffo had dropped out of the flight when his guns jammed. Unprepared, O'Hare moved up the line, shooting down two more airplanes. Then his third pass went through the third plane. He also damaged a sick aircraft, but the first team brought to Midway. It was a, a formation O'Hare uh, jumped back to work all. O'Hare was officially this one made him the Navy's first ace of World War II. Afterward, Tim Mondo had made a second attempt at the exercise. It seemed as if through the 50 caliber slug into the Japanese engines, they came out themselves right out of the ships and said, Listening crew cleared the Japanese bombers through the 
Sky at the front of the hill. Seeing the progress by United Press reporter Paul Potts later, O'Hare Connery, over 60 rounds shot in their day. Yes, that's playing. O'Hare jumped to the corner and made his grip. Son of her, as I said, I have heard what we will say, he said, but it might make more sense to take the blur off. Stood Sir O'Hare by returning to Washington to recover his mess, mess club bottle for she in June, his public re- relations assignment returned over the VF6, but most of the old squadron mates were gone, and his job was training new pilots rather than fighting the enemy. As a training officer, O'Hare breached the Bible according to Trench. Battle teammates were in the Hellcat. Teamwork and marksmanship for the vitals he stressed. And like the Edward were flying once when several squadron pilots wanted to try out some Army Curtis B-40s at a nearby airfield in Hawaii. He called them over the coals, saying it was more important to them. The, the new German F-6F-3 Hellcats were replacing their Wildcats. Finally, in late August 1943, O'Hara squadron took in <coughs> passing Marcus Islands, the district buying cross, PSC for distress, Garden, and leading squadron in Russian Vegas on the island. The carrier raid wake and five weeks later, Hellcat pilot finally got to test their mechanics against the legendary Zero. O'Hara shot down one, his first Kill since he begged five one day and five for night for two. One the w- way home he spotted a buddy also sent the crashing into the sea for several victories. His day work gave him a gold star and lieu a second cross the next time the cross islands and Burmy Marine invasion of Tijuana, but now we're here was in the air, commanding the assigned to Enterprise, Edward P. Sarah, who wrote the ship history, the big E noted O'Hare was on legendary the best ship to pilot in his command. He then stood in awe of him and for the tournament and the front of the cast group 50.2, which included two six destroyers. The group's mission was to secure the airspace over Mount Atoll, the northern end of Gerbuts, destroy the island defenses and settlement and forces on November 20th, and then send it to repel any Japanese counter strikes resistant to most McKay and Tijuana had been crossed by November 23rd with the Marines taking more than 3,000 casualties on Tijuana, but the American 5th Fleet of Vice Admiral Ray in space was coming under a joint attack from Japanese island-based torpedo planes and submarines. On the morning of November 25th, escort carrier Lushun Bay was sent by Japanese Submarine I-175, 20 miles southwest of the UK, with the loss of some 650 crew members that night. A Japanese two-engine bomber looking for a target across the deck of Enterprise at Bomber for approximately 400 feet before they never saw the ship. Now her top priority was to stop the Japanese torpedo planes that approached on the ship radar. This 
Dr. Sansa dropping parachute flares and <coughs> the Japanese can't attack us day by day and it anymore, he told a writer for the Sunday Evening Post. Our rockets and AA anti aircraft guns are too much for them. The Japanese have got the word to only come to ship off fish from is at the foreign fighters. Our and senior pilots have developed a noble night fighting tactic between two F 6X helicopters with a radar strip from the TVF Avengers torpedo bombers and sent them on and destroy mission. The ship radar would vector towards the enemy, then the TFV help. Radar would check onto a target and the Hellcats can it is about shooting up to that point. It was on Phil O'Hare was on November twenty sixth who's flying Hellcat to newly captured on tier one of the field. The decks a premium number twenty seven for Prince as long as five and a half hours into my life. O'Hare made his point with given permission to run night operation later. Uh, the, the volunteer Ensign Ron Andy Circum as wingman. They took off the carrier just before sunset and their vector on number of horses in search of bogies, but night overtook them by the journey to the TPF-1C Avenger flown by the Phillips commander of PTO-6 had flown them off the set carrier but going up difficult guidelines and advanced radar controls they had numbers of Japanese aircraft buzzing around on scene and the night star Avenger pilots shot down two of them the Help on on board finally more than 30 minutes of searching of her lights to avoid losing contact again. Our hair flew starboard and slightly astern. The Avenger well stuck him up a similar position in the official statement made by the assignment of the rear 200 feet of a, of a 50 caliber machine gun. Chicken through the throat. The O'Hare slid out a mansion. Chicken, not tell whether he's to run or skidding around him. The, the GPF gunner later told that he saw a fourth plane closing in on us and he was given permission to open fire as soon as it was in range, although it was. Very dark, he was blinded by his own tractor fear. He went on target, but closely he shot down the, the Japanese the raider officer of the gunner. Sorry, oh, well, nothing for the scope. The field the TBF. TBF commander, Colonel, the gunner overstood over the giant gunner, blinded by his own many tractors. He made it out of the target and over his uh, a vision, though the uh, little target it was little, he had a use of auxiliary signal and Further night work. Um, Turtle, he had his own vision of O'Hare's fate. One at no time outside of the plane. The starboard astern of TPF, he lowered the knees before a plane crashed over the TPF. Arthur, Lieutenant Commander O'Hare, circled out for a turn. He so the TBF current runner to the 
today the question of whether it really happened to Butch O'Hare remains unanswered. O'Hare was ordered to meet the cross for his final action. One year later, he was officially declared dead. Although his foundation could not share of them, from the Navy fears throughout the war in September 1949, the city of Chicago made sure his heroism would never be forgotten. The name of the city airport changed from O'Hare Field to O'Hare Airport. On February 25, 1982, Butch O'Hare Medal of Honor was presented to the city of Chicago by his daughter and two sisters. The commemorative ceremony that day marked the 50th anniversary of a Harris Moment place. His Medal of Honor is now part of O'Hare Memorial Exhibit at the airport that bears his name. That's the end of chapter four. Um, I don't think the veterans who fought for me should ever be free. And, um, if they didn't fight, I could not make these videos and read this book. So, thank you for the sacrifice you have made so I could be free. Thank you. And if you see a veteran that looks sad, buy them a coffee or tea. Maybe they want to talk to someone. And then, maybe they want a friend. <coughs> maybe all their friends are... <coughs> They don't have any friends and they want a friend. See, they're friends. Thank you.